here's the parts that I've got for installing these solar panels so first of all the panels themselves these are 170 watt uh, they're a little bit different than the normal panels if you look at them it's called shingled so rather than the bus bars that are running in between uh, each cell they overlap them they're kind of like just like shingles of your roof they kind of lay like that and it allows them to fit more uh, more wattage in a smaller area and it also stops like the bus bars don't actually conduct any don't give you any power basically so these ones the the whole surface basically is giving you power so anyways I got those that's what I, want. I got two of those to mount on the back I've got my charge controller MPPT uh, the display some bolts and stuff here's the wires I'm gonna run for it I've got my wire gland for up top um, I've got some of these to to make the two panels into one I'm gonna run them rather than see I think I'm gonna run them in parallel because I don't need a lot of voltage I'm only it's only a 12 volt system so I'm gonna run them in parallel I've got some hold down brackets here and then I've got this this is how I'm gonna mount it to this to the roof of the trailer so this is just unistrut or super strut depends where you buy it and what I'm gonna do is I got so there, there are 10 foot links and I'm gonna mount a full 10 foot length on one side so on the on the door side because eventually I think I'm gonna tie my awning into this so that's gonna be the whole length and then on the other side uh, half of the length is gonna be this big one and then in the middle since it's got a curved roof I've got this one so this is a little bit lower and I'm gonna mount that uh, two so two tracks in the middle and then a track on either outside anyways I'll show you as we get going here to mount that I'm gonna go bolt it right through the actual frame the roof roofing framing of the trailer I got some 3 8 bolts going right through from the bottom I'm gonna put in a rubber washer up top I'm gonna to mount it like this I'm gonna go through with a washer here and then uh, this where it penetrates the roof and then a washer on top of that and then a nut and so these this is going to be squeezed together with that nut and then I'm going to install the unistrut on top of it and then bolt that down anyways I'll show you as we're going along but that's my plan anyways and I'll definitely put a little bit of sealant underneath this so I wanted like a, a mechanical gasket and a little bit of silicone because I figure these are going to be flexing a lot and I don't want my roof leaking so that's that these are what slide in the unistrut so these have got some springs here they just slide down the channel in there you can slide them down to wherever you want them and then that's where you tighten up uh, these brackets here yeah so why don't we get first of all I'm going to show you we're going to get this installed first get that all set up so basically I'm going to mount these little brackets on my solar panels measure the width of those bolts and then I'll know how wide I need to mount these pieces of metal on my roof So here's my panel already to, ready to go onto the roof. What I did is I took these um, brackets, these Z brackets that come with a lot of the panels, Renogy, um, and they're supposed to go like this. Let's see, but that would make it, and then on top of the super strut, it would be so high, the panel would be like this far off the roof, which I didn't really want. So what I did is I just flipped it around and I put it on like that. And then I'll put the the unistrut into here. So the unistrut will run right alongside of the panel. And I thought that would give it a little bit of protection too from branches and sticks and stuff because it'll have the, the super strut on either side of the panel itself. So that'll give it some strength and a little bit of protection. So. So I bolted these on. I just used a step drill 
and drilled out all the holes and then I put the lock washers on and a little bit of this thread locker this is the orange stuff it's like a hybrid kind of a mix between the red and the blue so that's good this panel's ready to go I was thinking probably this little connection here I would face towards the front of uh, the trailer because uh, then the water and stuff won't be pushing into where the the connections are it'll be hit hitting the back side of the box and then also with this on this side I put the head at the top here just because uh, because of that thinner unistrut there it's gonna have that thinner unistrut and I don't want it to rub on the roof but on this side I could put the bolt uh, the nut on this side anyways I think it'll make more sense once we get in there but I've cut one of the unistruts the two small ones that are going in the middle of the roof so I'll get those on and then we'll install the unistruts now so this uh, channel is on it's really solid it'll be perfect for my awning just to show you quickly how I did it so it's just a 3 8 bolt through from the bottom like through the ceiling uh, then I put this rubber gasket on there and then I pinched it in between uh, with a washer and then I put a nut and I squeezed that height like this I don't know if you can see that in there anyways yeah, so squeeze that and then the unistrut I just bolt on top of that. So that's good. So this is measured the distance for my panel and it'll just fit in here just perfectly. I also overhung this a little bit in case I want to run a little bit of a tarp or an awning at the back there. So I got my panel sitting up here. I just mocked it up in place. I haven't bolted it down solid yet, but it's pretty close. Just to try and figure out where my wires are gonna come through. I think I'm gonna bring my wires over the top of these um, uh, rails here, and then come down here. I'm gonna mount these two panels in parallel. And so I'm gonna hook up uh, my wires here to those once I get the, the Y connectors in there. And then I'm gonna have it come down here and go through a little gland here, a little uh, wire pass through. Now I want to mount this so that it's coming down in my cabinet underneath. And my cabinet I think ends somewhere right around here, so it might be pretty close to here. But I also need to leave enough room for the edge of the solar panel, because this fits right up inside the solar panel. This is right inside it, so. Uh, this thing here anyways, I'm gonna glue it down I've got some RV, actually it's a marine adhesive. It's underwater or above water, really strong stuff. So I'm gonna puncture my hole. I'm gonna drill it out a little bit wider with a step drill and then um, mount that in there and run my wires through it. So there I step drilled out the, the metal and I installed one of these rubber grommets here. It's a three quarter inch grommet. And now I'm gonna glue this on top of it. I'm gonna pass the wires through and then I'm gonna glue that on top of it. And my thinking is here is that if I need to move the wires in or out, I'll still be able to. Uh, you can just move them, slide them in and out of this. And then once you've got them where you want, you just tighten down these nuts tightens down the rubber in here and then this is all sealed up nice and, and solid so uh, just in the future if I need to change the wires I can always um, uh, like pull the wires in or out no problem so that's it now it's a the, the holes there I'm gonna feed the wires through here feed the wires down in there and then glue this thing on here and then once it's glued uh, it should be nice and solid and, and be completely watertight. Here's a quick overview of the panel. Almost ready to go on the roof. Notice the brackets, how I flipped them around the other way, just like I was talking about before. 
Uh, on this side, I can fit the, the bolt sticking up this way because it uses the larger channel. But on that side, because it's got the thinner channel, I put the head down on the bolt. Uh, these are bolted washers, lock washer, plus I use a little bit of this hybrid uh, thread lock on that just to make sure that those those brackets are, are nice and tight. Uh, for the wires, I'm just uh, putting this conduit over top of them because uh, the roof of the trailer is pretty close. It's, it's very close to here and I'm worried with the rubbing, especially with this thing being an off-road trailer, it's going to end up rubbing through some of these wires. So I'm putting some of this flexible conduit on there. And then I'm going to tie strap them over to the side here where the wires are going. Also in the actual connections, I'm using some of this dielectric grease. Um, it's good for electrical connections. It keeps the water out of it. And especially with these being up on the roof, you know, maybe the salt and the water getting in them. It would just be a real pain to try and fix these after. So uh, a little bit of dielectric grease inside and a little bit on the gasket here to help it seal. And that's it. Then this panel is just about done. Uh, let me show you what it looks like up on the roof. So here's here's the panel on the roof. You can see how it's bolted down into the thicker channel over here, thinner channel over there. Do you see the um, the conduit coming out there? The wires, and over there is where I'm going to put the. Uh, the entrance into the trailer for the wires. So here's our wires all done. You can see it coming out of the uh, the exit point there, the entry point into the trailer. So that's all sealed up and then I just put that flexible conduit around the wires, come up, just taped them a little bit tie strap this bundle together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap in the new panel, the wires. I've got some dielectric grease in there and then I'll bolt down uh, this plan panel. I'll put it in place and bolt it down. How I uh, fit these things in here, I just basically made the distance about a quarter inch wider than the panels are for those brackets. So now let me show you how I'm going to attach it uh, into these rails here. There's some special little fasteners. So just give you an example here. I just laid out a few scrap pieces I've got on the bench here. So just to let you know what I'm using. So this is what it's called right here. It's super strut. Uh, Unistrut is the same. It's just all sorts of different brands of basically this channel that's used for electrical. You'll find an electrical section in the uh, home hardware type thing. Um, so these are the different sizes. Basically it's just half the size. So there's the, the large one and then there's the small one. The small one I'm putting at the very crown of the roof so that I can limit the amount of gap that I've got up there and the bigger ones is down closer to the edge of the roof. So these are the bolts that are nuts that slide in there and what they do is they lock themselves in. You can drop them in, you can see the curve. Well like this, you drop them in like that and then they lock in place and then it's got a groove which locks in against the groove in here. So they just slide in here. Well you just you can put them in wherever you want. So we'll just put one in here. Hard to put it in and hold a camera. Anyways, you get the idea. There you go. So that's locked in place. It can move up or down the channel. No problem. Uh, with a smaller channel, uh, you, there's usually ones without the springs. I couldn't find any. So I'm just grinding the springs off. I'm grinding that spring off and then that just drops in and that locks in wherever you want. Uh, for the smaller channel, I had to get some 3 quarter inch bolts. These are 3 8 16. You can also get half inch if you want. And for the larger channel, I'm just using one inch bolts. So again, lots of thread locker on these. I use thread locker and um, a nice big washer to hold it. So I'll just show you. Now let's get back on the roof and I'll show you how it's done. So there we are, we're all bolted down. If you can see that all right, you can see the spring that's inside there, the nut that goes across here 
and then washer and then this is all loctited down to both sides you can kind of see the profile I got a little bit of a bow here in the roof so it may look like there's no clearance under there but there is a little bit like that side but that's it so the panels I'm just gonna go and bolt down that side and the panels are done I think that's the hardest part but the most critical